We know they track everything from how deep you sleep to how many paces you run every minute. But are these fitness trackers really honest? Are they really accurate? And is there a difference between the different types? A recent study pitted four different brands against one another and against the heart monitor in a stress in our morning checkup. Yeah, you can look at uh, heart rate and speed and pace. Dr. Mark Millard loves accurate measurements. He is a pulmonary specialist and a triathlete. He's connected to a wireless EKG along with two wrist fitness trackers. One costs $200, the other $400 that's connected to a chest strap. A 10 minute track run tests both of them. I get 155. What I did... got you up at 156. Okay, so that's pretty close. But on my wrist sensor, it was only 125. Resting, all of the monitors read about the same. But add movement, like riding a stationary bike, and the basic wrist monitor does not measure up to the wrist chest monitor and the baseline EKG. The big one is 134. The wrist is 120. And the EKG says... While cheaper fitness trackers can count steps, they're not so great measuring heart rates, according to a study in the Annals of Internal Medicine. But they all have value. They get you off the couch. They get you onto the track. They get you active. And, um, and that, in and of itself, pays for itself in gold. You might even get a discount on your health insurance from your... From your uh, company that you work for. Dr. Millard thinks the price of your trackers are well worth it's it. It's the best antidepressant there is, uh, and you sleep well. So it appears you get what you pay for. Stacy Baca, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Isn't that always the case? Mm -hmm. Benefits of exercise well documented, leading to a longer, happier life. And exercise can reduce the likelihood of developing Alzheimer's or dementia. We have posted more information about all of this on our website, abc7chicago.com.